everyone so I know it has been a long while since I actually made an actual video with my face in it um, I had been super busy with school and so uh, today is actually my first day of summer so yay for that even though it is freezing cold here in Missouri I don't know it's like 50 degrees so I have like pants on and a sweater so summer really so hopefully it gets warmer and so I just wanted to make this video because today I got my relevant nails box in the mail and I know it's been a while since I made this made like this specific video for relevant nails and that is because I didn't get my box for April and I let them know I sent them an email last week uh, letting them know that I never ever got my April box so today I got my box in the mail and it's a little bigger than the normal size box that they send this in and I was surprised to find out here's what's inside I was surprised to find out that instead of receiving my normal two polishes that I'm supposed to get from the subscription I actually got five now, I think that is, and I think that's because I emailed them and told them that I did not get my box, and so I think they just threw in a few extra for this actually month. actually get into the polishes that I received. So, one of these is a duplicate, but that's okay. I'm going to save it. I might do a swap with it, or I might have it in a giveaway or something like that. So, that's not a big deal to me. But, so let's get started. So that specific polish that I received that was a duplicate is this one by Rain City Lacquer. And it has all these little glitters in it. Pink, purple. It's like a really pastel blue color. And it has pink, purple glitter with black hearts and holographic um, little glitters in it. And this is called Milk and Macaroons. So I already have this. This is going in my pile for giveaway or swap. So then I was super excited when I saw this lid because I knew that this lid meant a floss gloss. But when I took it out of the packaging, all it is is a black, is a black polish. So there's nothing really special about it. It is called a black holy. And it is by floss gloss. So I mean, I really can't complain because I got a black, but I got a floss gloss. So I'll I'll test this out and see if I like it because I really wanted to try their polishes, but I don't know. They're like smaller than normal bottles, so that's kind of why I didn't want to spend money on it. So that's the first one. The next one that I got is by Sparkle Nail Lacquer and this is a normal 15 um, milliliter bottle and this is called Can't Get Enough Pink and this is a really really pretty polish because it has all this pink glitter in it. It actually has silver tinsel, pink hearts, holographic, uh, what are those shapes called? hexagon I was like what is a stop sign yeah it's called hexagon and it's kind of in a pink jelly I don't know if that's because of all the pink glitter and it turned the polish um the polish kind of a tinted pink but either way this is a really awesome polish and I can't wait to try that um next I got these two from I guess it's called Lynn B Designs and this is an Etsy shop at Etsy.com so it's L-Y-N-B Designs dot Etsy.com and the bottle looks like this and this is a really pretty shimmery kind of pink that reflects blues and purples so it's kind of like um you could do a French manicure with this or you could layer it over a black and it would look super awesome. And this one is called Fangirl. And then the last polish that I got is by that same brand. 
And this one is just a really pretty blue and um, green glitter. And it's just super shiny. And it has blue stars in it. And this one is called, Oh, You Beautiful Idiot. <laughs> so that's actually kind of funny. And that's all that I got for this month's box. I have really enjoyed my subscription so far to Relevant Nails. Just because you get polishes that you wouldn't normally pick out. And they're handmade for the most part. And they're so unique. And since my collection is humongous, like seriously humongous, and that's another thing. Since school is out, I am actually going to start filming sections of my nail polish collection. I don't think that I should do it in a whole big whole big video because that would like take a million hours, but maybe like a few brands here or there. So let me know how you think that would work if you like. So, I wanted to say thanks for watching and like I said before, if you have any suggestions on how you think I should film my nail polish collection video or videos, leave a comment below. And if you want to subscribe to um, Relevant Nails, I'll have the link below. So thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!